What's good, man? Big boss K Po through the door here to talk this box, and I'm feeling real Texas right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling so Texas, man. You know, listen to that old school Slim Thugger. You know what I'm saying? Let um, cut this AC down real quick. You know, feeling real Texas this morning. You know what I mean? Drop my kids off at school. It's a beautiful day. How's y'all day going, man? We're the top boxing, though, man. We're going to talk about Eddie Hearn and how he's ruined fighters' careers. I said that in my last video. Y'all go check that out when I talked about Conor being juicing. You know what I mean? Uh, but let's talk about it, man. Eddie Hearn. Y'all know who Eddie Hearn is. He's, uh, I forgot his dad name. I think his dad named Barry Hearn or something like that. But that deal with matchroom boxing, right? And, uh... <sighs> You know, Eddie Hearn has had a series of fighters that he's managed. And, you know, um, those of you who don't know who he manages, he manages Anthony Joshua, or he's the promoter of Anthony Joshua, Connor Ben, Kel Brook, and the list goes on, right? And he's done nothing but run their careers into the ground. I mean, um, Anthony Joshua, you know, was an Olympian. I think he won a silver medal in the Olympics for the UK, um, you know, he's a good boxer, good technical boxer, um, but they didn't move him correctly. They didn't put him in the right fights that would get him, you know, I mean, he, Anthony Joshua is a star, but he could have been bigger than what he is now. You know what I mean? I mean, they put him in the Klitschko fight. He won that, you know, he, he, he done some things, but the, the issue I had with Eddie Hearn when he moved Anthony Joshua was when it was time for him to fight Wilder. When it was at their peak, he made every excuse not to make that fight happen. And I think we all know why he didn't want that fight to happen because he knew Anthony Joshua was going to get his lights knocked out. You know what I mean? Wilder was knocking the soul out of people, the bloodline out of people. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he was reaching ancestors. That's how much he was knocking out of boys' bodies. You know what I mean? But... It was just like, you could have made that fight happen. You know, you move Anthony, you stop politicking and moving Anthony Joshua funny after he started getting belt after belt. And then boom, he ended up losing his belt to Andrew Ruiz. Now he ended up getting it back, but then he fought Usyk and then he lost again. Then he lost twice to Usyk. So it's just how he moved Anthony Joshua. You know what I mean? You got to, the prime example is how PBC moved their fighters. You know what I mean? They build them up, they build them up, then they put them in there with tougher competition. Then you they put them in there with a top fighter. Hey, it's time for you to step up. Let's go get to it. You know what I mean? And that's what Eddie Hearn should have did with Joshua. But he ran Anthony Joshua to the ground. Now Anthony Joshua is looked at as a fighter that's past his prime, things like that. You look at uh Kell Brook. Kell Brook had that IBF belt. Kell Brook won that IBF belt from Sean Porter, right? He beat Sean Porter, I think, by a split decision, a majority decision, but he beat Sean Porter, right? Then after that, he didn't fight any tough competition. He was just fighting these dudes from the UK, you know what I mean, that we don't know. And you know how the UK hype up they fighters, you know what I mean, because they fighters be trash. They'll hype them up, and then the, the sanctioning bodies be like, oh, yeah, I, I mean, I guess he's a good you know, a good fighter because, you know, he's he beating these fighters in devastated fashion. And then he come over here and fight the American and get mollywhopped. You know what I mean? So it's like, how good are they really? But Kell Brook was real. Kell Brook was, was, could fight. You know what I mean? Um, was a, a extremely skilled, was a bigger welterweight, was strong. You know what I mean? He, he could have caused a lot of problems for a lot of fighters. But Eddie Hearn didn't put him in there with any top welterweights. You know what I mean? He was moving funny away with Kell Brook, too. As far as how Kell Brook, you know, didn't fight Errol. You know what I mean? He didn't fight Errol until, like, he had to. Like, he was like one of them he had to type things. You know what I mean? Or they was going to take his belt from him. You know what I mean? But he moved Kell Brook and moved him up to 160 to fight Triple G. For what? You know, tomorrow this is a legacy to find and fight. I want y'all to pay attention to these to what he's doing. Okay? Kell Brook get his over the bone broke by Triple G. You know, he re he heals, recovers from that. Then he comes back and fights L. And L break the other. You know, I gotta I gotta I gotta make sure I say that. The other 
orbital bone. Broke the other one, okay? And then after that, he wasn't the same. Wasn't the same fighter after that. After he fought ill, he wasn't the same. You know what I mean? Um, kind of been. Kind of been looked invincible. You know what I mean? He looked strong, you know, knocked out Chris L. Jerry. You know, I thought Errol knocked out Chris L. Jerry, but knocked out Chris L. Jerry, you know, and then he was going to fight Chris Eubank Jr. at a catchwork, which I don't understand why he did that. I understand why they were going for that. You got other welterweights you could fight. You could fight Virgil Ortiz. You could fight uh, Boots. You know what I mean? Like, you could fight them. But see, Eddie Hearn was putting in that man's head, man, go fight Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman ain't even that active. You know what I mean? Like, I get it. Like, you know, but he was calling Keith Thurman in them out when Keith Thurman wasn't even fighting. Go, f yeah, Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner haven't fought since the pandemic. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, since I think 2020. So, like, what are we talking about here? What are we talking about? So the the pattern I'm seeing, it looks like Eddie Hearn is running his fighters into the ground and collecting money from them. That's what he's doing. He's running them into the ground and and he getting that money. He putting them in these fights and telling them, hey man, he pimping them out. Let's just keep it real. Eddie Hearn is a pimp. He pimping his fighters out. You know what a pimp do to, you know. He can make a girl think she could take over, you know, <laughs> what's that movie called? I forgot what the movie called. Where he said, man, we're going to take over Space Mountain, baby. That's what Eddie Hearn do. He pip his fighters out. Eddie Hearn make them believe that they can go to heavyweight. You know, if he got a welterweight that's knocking everybody out, hey, man, you can go to heavyweight and you can fight uh, Tyson Fury and beat him. And it'll be a big money fight. Yeah, you'll make so this how much money you'll make on this fight. And the fighter's like, yep, you you think so? Man, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's go. Let's do it. I'll do it. Yeah, let's go. And I'm going to get paid that? Yeah, let's do it. Then they get over there and get the soul knocked out of them. Now they're not the same fighter. <laughs> I tell you, man, Eddie Hearn, a pimp, man, he be pimping these boys out. Pause. It's crazy, man. Like, they don't see that. Like, you don't see that Eddie Hearn is doing you dirty. It's 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 it's, it's crazy. To the point where kind of being felt like, hmm, I need to, I need to, I need some extra, I need some extra strength. Let me go ahead and drink this juice, this steroid juice, real quick. You know what I mean? I rub this ointment on me. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna make me stronger. Oh man, let me just give me a shot in my in my kneecap right here, cuz. You know what I'm saying? To the point where he felt like he needed to take something. He took something. You know what I mean? And we don't even know how long he been taking that stuff. Because you know in, in the UK, they, they're like drug tested is different. You know what I mean? Way different than over here in America. That's why that boy kind of being ain't fought over here yet. That's why a lot of them over there they be looking invincible till they come over here. You want to know why? Because they be over there in the UK doing all type of stuff. Juicing, all that. Putting ointment on to make them stronger. Putting little drops in their nose that make them stronger. Billy Joe Sanders. So what I'm saying is at the end of the day, they do all that stuff. And then when they come over here and they got to get with Vida, And they can't get on that stuff, but they still like, y'all yeah, still beat them. They look flat. They get destroyed. Sad, man. Sad how Eddie Hearn do his fighters. You know what I mean? You got to see the writing on the wall, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all think Eddie Hearn pimp his fighters out? Let me know in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm running for no smoke. Boss gone.